what's going on everyone it's been a long time um i had pretty much lost interest in all the youtube stuff but i've had a pretty good jump in subscribers recently and for my page i had like 15 subscribers now i've got almost 50 so i'm like you know what let's have some fun let's make another video it seems like people are actually watching it um at first i thought nobody really cared but it is what it is um i enjoy it so i'll post it anybody who wants to watch it great i've got some big things happening around here since i posted last i was installing the horse fencing which wound up getting completed aside from a few posts being topped it topped off my chainsaw um blade had dulled so i stopped cutting for the day and then i just never got back to it i will eventually but we've got all of our horse fencing in um we have brought the horses in um, unfortunately one did wind up colicking at the end of last summer so bad that we did have to have her put down um but we still have our old appy uh she's going to be our kid's retirement or 4-h horse she's on retirement and we actually just bought a um off the track thoroughbred which is coming april 19th so we're getting prepared for him he's a gelding three-year-old gelding but if you look over here we've got everything all set up um expanded the chicken coop but got some cleaning to do today and that's what today's goal is we uh we're getting out of the winter time blues and spring is flourishing around here so we're going to get to work i also decided that i'm tired of all this manual shoveling and raking and leveling so the other day i went up to the Kubota dealership rorks in elmer new jersey and i bought a brand new Kubota. so that's getting delivered today as well and trust me, there will be plenty of footage of that. It's, I got the L2501 hydrostatic with the loader. Um, seems like everybody in America is buying those right now. So I'm part of the club. I'm super, super stoked about that. So we're just going to work around here, build some raised flower beds, clean up the yard, get the tractor, and uh, start fixing my driveway. I don't know if any of you have tried to buy lumber lately but it is absolutely insane how much they're charging i went to buy two by fours the other day just some pressure treated two by four by eight and they were eleven dollars a piece i remember spending like three dollars on those so this used to line some flower beds that were up here they were absolutely atrocious the ugliest trees i've ever seen half dead so we pulled those out and this wood it's not pressure treated I don't know why they ever used it to begin with, but um, you can see this one's got some pretty good rot going on to it. Not rot, but it's definitely worn. Um, we're gonna recycle these into raised flower beds. Yeah, one could argue should probably use pressure treated, but we don't want all those chemicals leaching into the garden. Um, we're not people who are very pro organic gardening in mass, but in our own backyard, we're gonna do it as organic as possible. Uh, we understand there is a need for organic and GMO to support this size society, but this is our backyard. So we are going to do it as chemical free as absolutely possible. I wanted to keep in mind um, the potential for moving these flower beds. Uh, so I kept the size down to a four by four. Originally I wanted to do four by eight, but I felt that it might fall apart if I drug it full of soil. The fact that I was using old recycled wood made it a little bit more difficult. I had to pay attention to the way that the boards were warped. Quite a few of these boards were twisted, so when I was going to put them into the other boards with the screws, they would pop out. It proved to be quite difficult. Overall, I'm pretty pleased with how these raised garden beds turned out. They're exactly what we wanted. Just some squares that gave us some room to put some topsoil in to grow some vegetables. This will be part of our children's homeschooling projects. Specifically my son, my daughter's a little too young, but she'll help out and they'll help plant all of the plants and hopefully we can grow some veggies and have some good food this summer. I have good news. She's here. She came. 
the Kubota L2501 with the LA525 loader attachment. I am so happy with this thing. Um, we bought it brand new from Rourke's Farm Supply down in Elmer, New Jersey. Just uh, gonna give them a little shout out. They handled it phenomenally. I walked into the room and I said, hey, I want this tractor. I want to sign for it now. If I don't sign for it now, I'm not signing for it. Everybody dropped what they were doing and hooked me right up. And that was not to be rude. This was an impulsive buy. I've wanted a tractor for a few years now. The springtime is always when I want it because that's when the most work is. And then I always talk myself out of it. So I finally said, screw it. Let's get one. I'm not even sure it was worth it just because I only own three acres. But it's 0% interest, zero money down. It's costing me nothing except for the cost of the tractor over the course of seven years, so why the hell not? Only thing, it didn't come with pins for this homemade attachment that I picked up off of um, uh, Facebook Marketplace. So I sent Morgan to Tractor Supply. She was going out there anyway for something else, and I told her to, I didn't know what size pins to get. This is my first tractor, I don't really know. Um, so I wanted the biggest ones, the strongest ones, and apparently Tractor Supply's version of six inches is much different than mine because these bad boys are huge, and I guess they're usable. You get six inches of usable space. So I'm hoping these aren't too big. <laughs> All right, well, they are freaking huge, but they do the trick. They're nice, big, safe. going to be hard to lose those, so I think I'm actually going to stick with them. Um, if they turn into a problem... By any means, I will certainly switch them out. But for now, we're going to keep them. Man, she's a beautiful tractor. Oh, and this is the hydrostatic transmission as well. So, there she is. I'm going to do some yard work today with her. This is the area where we had to bury our other horse. So the gravel was really um, not growing much grass. I brought in all of the composted horse manure and getting ready to spread some grass seed to hopefully make some good grass for the grazing of the two horses this summer. One thing I did overlook before starting this project was the fact that I don't have a seed spreader. But come to find out, I'm not too bad myself. This is just Kentucky 31 uh, tall grass. They said that it is safe for horses to feed, so hopefully we'll have good grazing grass for this summer. This branch was one more thing that was in the way and needed to be cleaned up, so I picked it up, loaded it, and got it ready for our next bonfire. It's been an extremely productive day here on the Coulter Coop. It's always nice getting some projects accomplished before the rain sets in and then finishing up halfway through the day and spending the rest of the day with the family. So, I hope everybody enjoyed. This is just one day of many days. A lot of work goes into maintaining everything that we have going on.